Well, people go to the gym for a variety of reasons. Some want to get fit or build muscles. Others may just want to meet people. Sports director Jason Bristol has the story of one young man who says the gym did all that for him and more. When Jordan Franz of Halifax was 17, he noticed a toad in the woods behind his parents' house. The toad had only three legs and it was struggling to make its way. Finally, that toad got to where it was going. And at that very instant, Jordan Franz realized something. His life was very similar. It's a normal night at King's Fitness for Life in Halifax. Weight goes up and then comes down. Shiny dumbbells line the walls and a woman does leg lifts. Jordan Franz is here too. Like millions of people, he works out regularly. Rep by rep, set after set. And he's all business. The task at hand, building up those arms. It's all towards health. You know, I want to be a healthy person and I want to make sure that I live to a healthy age, you know, old age. But basically mass. I mean, you know, I want to have something that people can see and be like, wow, he really changed. He really did something, you know? And that's why he keeps adding weight every time he comes in. Now, Jordan's routine is pretty typical. He'll often start with his ab machine, move over to the back extensions, and then do some shoulder presses. And despite throwing up all that weight, there's still one thing he can't do, and that's tie his own shoe. Jordan has cerebral palsy due to a stroke when he was born. He walks with a limp and has limited use of his left hand. Obviously, from looking at me, you can tell something is different, you know, so I just try to make the best of it. That's why he carefully arranges his fingers into position and keeps his elbow tucked. He's been lifting for about five years now after a college buddy pushed him into the weight room. All this heavy metal hasn't discouraged him either. It's actually fueled him, according to his father, Dwayne, who also works out. It helps, I guess, his self-esteem and helps everybody's self-esteem to can see you know, what he has been able to do and to overcome. Jordan now has broad shoulders and biceps that look like mini mountains. He used to ask, why me? Now it's just, why not? Eventually, you just got to look at it for what it is. Okay, I have this disability, but you know what? I'm going to make the best out of my life. And so you do it. You either do it or you fold. Simple as that. Yes, simple in theory, but complex in reality. But thanks to some hammer strength, some of the burdens that used to be on these shoulders have now been lifted. Jordan actually calls himself the unlikely toad, and when he's not at the gym, he's at the gym. He works at King's Fitness for Life as well as being a substitute teacher. He hopes to put his degree in social work from Bloomsburg to good work. Jason Bristol, WHP, CBS 21.